Good morning, happy Thursday, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Plans have changed today. I have moved my CBC meetings till Monday. Got a little bit of little torquing this morning in the hips. So we're going to lay low. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about this, which I did not buy, but my wife. Denise is actually who found Dior Lash Mascara for me the first time. It had just come out. And she went to the Dior counter and said, so what's, what's, what's up for my wife? And brought me home Dior Lash Mascara, and to this day it's my favorite mascara. Anyway, what this is, is it's Clarins. And I know people think of Clarins as an old lady brand. I love Clarins. In fact, my, where I get all my aesthetic services is at the Ritz-Carlton here in Toronto. And um, they are a Clarins spa, and I love them. Anyway, this is Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. So it's an oil for the lips. Look at the size of that doe foot applicator. There's no color, although you can get them with color. I'll, I'll put it on for you. And it's just, it does leave a nice shine. So you can actually put it over lipsticks and lip pencils. But it, excuse me, it, but it is so soothing on the lips. It's wonderful. And I'll show my nails. I did them last night. Nice. Check on Instagram. That's right. Um, I've got lots more elite. I got the hiccups. Ooh. I have lots more great nails leading up to the holidays, so stay tuned. But right now, it's Advent time. Let's do the big, the big ones, the big ones, big ones. What a what a crapshoot Advent was yesterday. Me trying to figure out the days. So I am gonna make sure I got ten done. I got eleven done. I got twelve done. It was so funny yesterday. <laughs> well, leaving math up to me, that is hilarious. So today is thirteen. Big one. DIY nails. Oh, little decals for your nails. Are they are they like mine or are they? No, they're water activated nail and skin transfers. So they're like little nail tattoos, I guess. Cool. Oh yeah, so you paint the nail, then you put the little decal on, and you put an overlay on it. Oh my god, I gotta cut them out. Have fun. That can't be. Anyway, I will figure that out and get back to you. So that one was 13. I would say that's the first kind of want want prize in this in this uh, calendar. And 14 is ooh, followed by a nice prize. Nude by Nature Mineralize Foundation. It looks like Australia's number one mineral makeup, yes. Nude by Nature is made with native Australian ingredients that benefit your skin and give a flawless finish. It's makeup that's more than cosmetic. It's good for you. And that's a pretty nice size. It's a deluxe sample. Looks a little light, but it might work for me uh, come January, February, because this indigenous kid gets very pale. I got my mother's light skin. <laughs> and in the winter, my dad used to tease me because my dad was very dark skinned. Yeah. And um, when I'd come out in the winter with my nightgown on, he'd look at my legs and he'd say, damn girl, your legs are so white, they're almost blue. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm the lightest of all, I have the darkest hair and eyes of all the kids, but I got the lightest skin with all these freckles and age spots. <laughs> my father's skin did not have a mark on it. Now, I will do the same thing with this to make sure. I did my 10 yesterday. I did my 11 yesterday. Okay. Where is my... I did 12. 13's right there. 13. Ooh, a Wella product. A Wella product. Oil Reflection Shampoo. Ooh. It, it, you know what? Wella used to be everywhere in North America. And now I find it really hard to find. But apparently it's still strong in the UK. And this is a really good size bottle. I hate it when they give you shampoo and conditioner bottles this big. Because if you have... Well, I know my hair is short right now. But the way I usually wear my hair long. That's a one use thing. And you can't really tell if you like a shampoo after one use. So I will have fun trying that out. So did I do one too many yesterday or no? I think we... What did we do today? 14's there. No, we did 14 today. So did we'll do we? 14, yeah. Hold that down because we. <gasps> An or oh my god, this one is amazing. Origins. An Origins product. Ginseng. Oh. I mean, who among us does not love ginseng? My favorite ginseng is their eye cream, but this is the ginseng energy boosting moisturizer. This is one of Origin's most popular lines, and look at the size of that. It is one full ounce of moisturizer, Origin's. Awesome, In terms awesome. of bang for the buck on well-known quality 
uh, brands. I have to say, even maybe ahead of Charlotte Tilbury, uh, this look fantastic calendar for bang for the buck has been amazing. And it's been really cool to have all these different brands. Now, having said that, the Charlotte Tilbury is. You won't kick it out of no, the No, it's not getting kicked out of bed. See ya, <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, this is the one that I went crazy with yesterday. So I'm only going to open one today because I opened three yesterday. That's right. And it's going to be number 11. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Don't be like the rest of them, darling. Grace oh, Kelly. Well, that, now that. Now, now. That's singing my song. There. Don't be like the rest of them. Oh, look at the color. What a beautiful Christmas green. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that, that's Denise's favorite color right there. Yeah, that is beautiful. And that is called La Dolce Vita. Oh. Of course it. Oh. Yes, La Dolce Vita, nice. the crazy life. That's beautiful color. That is beautiful. Do you, if you watch the Sephora uh, YouTube videos, there's that cute little blonde. I forget her name. She has the short blonde hair, big blue eyes. She's been doing a lot of the Christmas um, videos, and I've noticed she's had this beautiful, really gorgeous green on her nails, and I've been trying to figure out what it is, and I think it might be this one because it looks exactly like this that's gorgeous very metallic very yeah. yeah really cool so yeah i'm only gonna open one of those today because yesterday i couldn't get my math worked out oh charlotte so did we do wonder glow yesterday was yep, that? We did that one yesterday okay so today is legend oh legendary lashes i bet you it's gonna be her legendary lashes mascara I even love all these. I mean, I know we're trying to get things out of the apartment, but I the thought of letting go of this box after. Well, it's pretty heavy duty too. It's yeah, nice. maybe I can store stuff in. Oh, look what it is, guys! It's a do not eat packet. Wonderful, I've been wanting one of those. It is a deluxe size sample of her legendary lashes mascara. I'll show you how big the tube is, but I'm not going to open it because I have a lot of mascaras open right now, so I want to save it. Oh, look how pretty. That's nice. Way to go, Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, L'Occitane. So I did 10. I'm just making sure I did 10. Because like I said, yesterday was a little confusing. See, I didn't do 11, oh, okay. did I? No. So 11. Oh, uh, Fleur de... It's Cherry Blossom. Uh, shower Gel. I love this line. I actually had the perfume of this for a while. Um, it's a... It's a beautiful cherry scent. And so far, I'm loving. I've been using them in the shower as I'm getting them, the shower gels. They're amazing. So that's 11. Now, did I do 12 yesterday? Right there. I think I did it yesterday because I got all mixed up. Yes, yeah, so now I go 13. There we go. Oh, no, I did 13 yesterday. So this one in Ciate then. Okay, then today's 14. I did yeah, 14. Yeah, right there. Oh, and it's another soap, Lucky Denise. Oh, and it's a big one. Oh, yay. Oh, it? it is cleansing and exfoliating, and it's their almond. Oh. Their whole almond line, I would walk on my knees across glass for. The, their almond body oil is, and the oil you, you use in the shower, I mean, it doesn't soap up a lot, but it does leave your skin so moisturized. Like, I've not met an almond product of theirs that I don't absolutely love. Lucky Denise, look at the size of that bar too. Like that's a good size bar. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Tea time. Here we have 13. It's a little, uh, what do you call those little? Oh, it's another ski lift, gondola. Yeah. Gondola. Which makes me want to watch Frozen. We, yeah, we have, oh look, gondolations. Oh uh, yes, it is. Condolations. Creme Caramel Rubios. Oh, I bet you there's sugar in that. No. Okay, I gotta check it out. Oh, I, I have to nice. research, well now, 14, 15 of these things to see what has sugar and what does not. Check out 14. Two weeks worth. And snow drifts in the peak of a tree there, but nice. that's it. Irish breakfast. Oh, I love Irish breakfast. Well, I like English breakfast tea. I'm sure it tastes almost the same. It smells so good. And the egg Lego one looks box. so funny because the, all the doors ripped off. It's all beat off. All right, so we're gonna do thirteen. Okay. 
another person. Cool. Build that one. And then number 14. Oh, I thought it was like, empty. Looks like a helicopter toy. of some a sort. Toy, I think, because it looks like he's got a remote. Oh, and yes. I'm thinking it goes with yes. this. I like opening two at a time because you they, get what they mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll build these these puppies, and then I'll show you what I got going on so far in the, the festive scene. Sweet. Point. Hey. Um, I just showered, as you can tell by the wet hair. I haven't done my face or anything else yet, but there's a bit, a spot of excitement. Denise's cousin Angie and her husband Greg, who we love to death, they're from Anaganish, Nova Scotia, that's where they live, um, are coming to town. They're in town right now on business, and we've arranged to have lunch with them tomorrow. And um, we haven't seen them since we moved, and we're very close to them, so we're excited to see them. But then, we didn't tell them. We asked Denise's brother Dave if he was free for lunch tomorrow. He is, and I think his wife Michelle is going to come too. And Denise's cousin Angie has not seen her brother Dave since their father's funeral. Angie's brother and Denise's father died on the same night, like the same day. Uh, it's just a horrible story that maybe Denise will tell you sometime or she wants me to tell you. But they haven't seen one another since the funeral, which is since Denise was 21 and she's about to turn 46. So how excited are you? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make the reservation. I'll let Denise tell you how excited mm -hmm. she is. Oh, very exciting. So, um, cause usually, I don't know, just uh, Dave moved some things around. Um, so, yeah, so I, uh, I don't know, it's just very exciting, so, just, because uh, Angie, yeah, we, we were really close growing up together, and then... And we'll take you with us. And we'll take you with us, so, yeah, we'll get into the story now about what all that happened, but um, just very, very exciting, and uh, so we're just making the, the reservation for the restaurant tomorrow, so... Very happy about that, but you'll be coming with us. Might be a few tears, we're not sure. But, yeah, like, just to give you the quick... Um, I mean, when the family told me this, we were on the back porch at our house and I almost died. Angie's father, uh, Uncle Vaughn, who you've never met on the vlog, but we just love Uncle Vaughn on Sandra. You'll see pictures of him in our wedding pictures on Facebook if you go there. He, very close to his brothers, Wade and Les, Denise's dad. Um, he gets the call late in the day that his brother, Denise's father, has died. He's mortified. He calls his son, who is away, and says, you got to come home. Uncle Les has died. So he's, he's in this horrible sadness over his brother dying. And then in the middle of the night, they get a phone call. Are you Vaughn Tompkins? Yes, uh, your son just died in a car accident. So his brother and his son died within hours of one another. So for the whole family, like for Denise, it was her dad and her cousin. For Angie, it was her brother and her uncle. So they had a, a combined funeral. So, um, and they're, like, they're the salt of the earth, these people. I was so thrilled when I got to meet them and spend some time with them in New Brunswick. Um, and then everybody kind of, like, the family went its separate ways. And as you know, Denise hadn't seen her brother in so long. So this is going to be, like, so... You know what? Me with family, like, my family were, like, so tight. And I, I'm so happy that this move to Toronto has allowed Denise to, like, re-look. I'm getting all... <laughs> has allowed Denise to, like, reconnect with her family. And tomorrow's going to be just so wonderful. Can't wait. Got to make the reservation. So this is the homemade soup that we made yesterday, but we're having it for lunch today. In a slow cooker. In a slow cooker. So we've got the Italian sausage. There's kale. There's white beans that we made. Uh, we used the dry beans and we soaked them overnight to put into the slow cooker. And some onion. Onion. And this, it's freaking delicious. It's from that. that book, um, Slow Cooker Dump Recipes. Oh boy. Uh, my stomach is growling. It says dump recipes. You're probably like, what the hell? It's because if you cook with a slow cooker, you know how like you have to do a lot of prep. Like you sear your meat or you first saute your onions or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it still takes quite a bit of time. These are all recipes that are five ingredients or less that you just dump into the slow cooker and turn it on and that's it. So like we made that soup yesterday morning It took in the time it took me to chop the onions. Yeah. Uh, that was about it. So they're really great for people who are busy like us. It's like... Then supper was ready. Awesome. It was lovely, and now we're gonna eat it. <gasps> Starving. Netflix, that's what's going on. Netflix and very warm reading socks. Mm -hmm. I just realized that my red pajamas match my reading socks, so I pulled those on. 
Because it is a little chilly. Mama just took the dogs out. She says it's a little bit of a mini uh, blizzard out there. So I hope it stays. I hope it actually is snow that stays on the ground. Um, we are getting ready for bed. I bummed that we didn't show you supper. We made supper wow. from that... And Denise's like, oh, from that sprouted kitchen book. And it was uh, huevo ranchero, you know, basically Mexican eggs. And uh, it turned out really, really great. And we even did our beans from just dried black beans. And um, it really was delicious. So then we watched something together. What did we watch together? <laughs> <laughs> We're losing our minds. Oh, Midsummer Murder? No, no, that was lunch. Oh, well, we watched a Christmas movie of the. Um, uh, oh, yes. Cuban... Oh, what's it called? It's almost like a Latin version of the Family Stone. It's pretty, really good. Let me see if I can just pull it up so I can remember, so I can tell you what it is, because it is really good. Yeah, yeah we watch that one every year. Actually, we, we just found it last year and then watched it again well, this year. Years, so. Every year. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> mm. Nothing like the holidays. That's what it's called. Um, and it's kind of a stellar cast. Um, Deborah Messing, John Leguizamo, uh, Louis Guzman, Alfred Molina, uh, Freddie Rodriguez, Elizabeth Pena, Jay Hernandez. It's really, really, really great. And we watched that together and then um, I washed all my makeup brushes. Uh, and you know how, you know what a chore that is. But anyway, I'm glad that's done. And then Denise watched Muppet Christmas Carol because she loves it. We're, we're saving the Jim Carrey Christmas Carol to watch together because we both love that one. So that is it. I'm going to brush my teeth and uh, get ready for bed. So thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.